water salt yeast, another bread, this time Iranian barbari bread. And that's, by the way, Iranian, but Armenians love that bread. And I can't uh, imagine an Armenian bakery that doesn't make that bread. And it's very, very simple in making. You'll be surprised how easy it is. So I've got my flour, three cups of flour, teaspoonful. I'm using instant yeast. Uh, one and a half teaspoonful salt. Same amount of sugar. And the water will be going the last. Just a quick mix. And I'm going to knead this into smooth elastic dough. And I'll be back and show you the rest. I've been kneading this about 10 minutes. You really need to, that's, that's very important to kind of stretch and knead as long as it needs to become something like this. Non-sticky but soft. And this goes into greased bowl to relax and rest, double in size. Um, it should take, since it's summer here, it probably will take, I keep cutting a small amount of, uh, plastic. It will take probably an hour or so. And while it's getting that rest, we need to make this um, flowers and baking soda mixture. That will help us to um, shape the bread and to stretch it out some. So we have water, a teaspoonful of baking soda and a teaspoonful of flour. And I'm going to bring this into a boil and just let it sit and get cooled until the dough is rising. This is ready. It should just kind of bubble and boil a few minutes. I'd say a few seconds. That's it. And we are going to let this to cool down. This will We'll, need, we'll use this later. It's been less than an hour, by the way, and the dough is almost quadrupled in size. So this is how you want your dough to look. Very puffy and very smooth and soft. And this will go on your cooking surface. And by the way, for this uh, bread, I use semolina instead of flour, just to help me to work with the dough. Now, this recipe will make two breads. Just divide it in two portions. Just eyeball it. So, what's here? And this is the flour. Uh, soda mixture. This is very important uh, thing for this bread and you're gonna just kind of wet your fingers and then stretch the dough out and just to shape it as you already know how the barbari bread looks like. It's almost like Armenian matnakash but with sesame seeds. So you're gonna just kind of stretch it and then Pull it, just give it the shape for the bread. And you use this mixture as, as, as you need, just to work with the dough. And make sure to flour the surface with semolina generously, so you can work easily. Alright, this is how it's supposed to look. And not yet, we're not done yet. I'm just gonna quickly and spray your baking pan, lay with foil or parchment paper, and this will go on top of the pan, like so. And I continue shaping it in, already in the pan because that way it's much, much easier. So, again. Keep your fingers in this 
mixture, flatten the dough and those traditional lines for barbary. Just do it with your fingers. And we're gonna sprinkle this with sesame seeds and bake in 450 degree oven about 10 minutes and if baking two at the same time remember to switch the pans halfway through baking like this and just generously or lightly drizzle with sesame seeds and just continue doing the rest This one I'm going to use black sesame seeds. If you don't have this, any regular sesame seeds will do. And this will bake in 450 about 10 minutes. And I already mentioned you need to switch the pans. So and the breads don't have to rest after you shape them. That's another different thing about these breads. Anyways, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Breads are out. I, it took me 12 minutes to bake. Very delicious, very crispy and flat, very flat bread. Well, it is a Iranian flatbread barbari. Detailed recipe uh, in the description. Any questions, any comments, I'll be always happy to uh, be in touch with you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.